I'm a researcher in uh, this Ristres Cat project called FEMIOT, and basically we are part of the uh, connected street. So the idea is mainly uh, create a new infrastructure uh, for the connected streets in the smart cities. Nowadays, the pollution is collected by uh, big stations with uh, ha uh, high price uh, sensors that are using. Our idea is to uh, use this kind of small sensors that are really more cheap, but uh, taking into account that we can uh, create a, we can reduce the spatial resolution of these sensors. So taking uh, advantage of these small sensors that can be installed in an easy way in many streets uh, of the city, take the, uh, the information from this uh, sensor. In here we have the particular, uh, particle sensor or gas sensor, ozone sensor. So try to reduce this special reduction and obtain more information in real time. If we think about mobility, basically the first thing that it comes to our mind is how to reduce or the, the, I mean, the problems linked with, with uh, the, the need to move things and people around the city. Basically, cars move around and to make that feasible, they consume some kind of energy. This generates basically some kind of, of issues that may affect the, the health of the people. And so the goal of this project is to be able to, to monitor these parameters. Something which we believe is quite revolu revolutionary is that it's true that the city has uh, currently information about uh, the air quality in a quite general way, I mean, not uh, not, I mean, not in a specific region, not in a specific zone. So our project aims to to deal on that, to see what's the quality on that street, uh, on that part of the square. So have this low-level information, which may help, like in the case of the superblocks, to identify if, for instance, the superblocks is a good solution in terms of improving the air quality of. Of, uh, of that region of where the superblock is, is applied. And indeed, one of the questions that we wonder in this project is, okay, superblocks is, uh, seems a very good idea because they reduce the number of vehicles moving around, the speed of the vehicles and whatever, so it should improve the air quality, so we want to validate that. However, how this affects the, the streets surrounding the super rugby. We want also to, to take into account the, the uh, pollution, how it affects uh, to the schools. It's uh, some uh, papers uh, affirms that uh, pollution affects also to the de development of uh, children. So the idea is only to monitor this uh, pollution around uh, surrounding the schools. So taking into account that these uh, sensors that we are installing are easy deploying, uh, the idea is not only uh, trying to cope with the mobility, not only trying to solve uh, mobility problems, also cope with the problems that can appear to the children uh, uh, with the pollution surrounding the schools. All the technology necessary to, to get the data from the sensors to the cloud, the, uh, to, to the place where it can be processed and analyzed. Uh, we are also taking the opportunity in this project to test our own technology. We have developed some new protocols, some new ideas that uh, are much more efficient. And another aspect interesting of, that we believe is quite interesting of our project is that we use also the data to optimize the network. For instance, using machine learning or, or artificial intelligence, we can create estimators based on the data that we gather, as well as data from other networks or external data, to predict uh, what will happen in the future. So we can change the behavior of the network to, to adapt to those expected changes. Well, the project is composed by different universities and research center of Catalonia. Uh, this project is founded by the Generalitat and uh, received uh, funds from FEDER program. And uh, in the project, we also have an executive committee of different uh, enterprises and businesses that are interested in this infrastructure that we want to create. The project has started at the beginning of uh, 2020, and the main idea is that at the end of uh, mid-2021, uh, try to uh, implement the first uh, infrastructure in the city. I mean, it will be a very relevant approach just for the city council or other organizations around just to plan future actions on, on the city or to improve the mobility in, in, in the area of Barcelona but also internationally.